Hello, in this video I'm going to show you my first ever game in the Emden, which is the Christmas and New Year ship that Wargaming is giving out for World of Warships. I've unlocked it on the Asian server, where all you have to do to get it is to kill 10 enemy ships. Um, I think it's a bit more complicated to get it on the North American server, but I haven't even started yet. Um, so why would you want the Emden? Well, it's basically a... Dresden class cruiser, the German tier 2 cruiser. Um, the only real difference between this, or the differences between this and the Dresden, is that the Emden has two less guns than the fully upgraded Dresden. It has the same armament as the stock Dresden, um, but it has the same range and rate of fire and everything else as the fully upgraded Dresden. Um, it's also one not slower than the fully upgraded Dresden. But, in exchange for those two, it actually gets a much tighter turning circle and a much better run of shift time. Which just means that, well, it can't do quite as much damage as the Dresden, just because it's lacking one gun on the broadside. It is much better at dodging, and it's especially a lot better at dodging torpedoes. Uh, the Emden is actually a pretty interesting ship to have also for historical reasons. It was quite famous in the First World War. Um, it started off in the German Far East Squadron, based in Tsingtao, but managed to escape before the Japanese blockaded their port. And basically went raiding in the Indian Ocean, um, bombarded Madras, it sunk, a, I would think, two Allied cruisers and a whole bunch of merchant ships, before it was eventually destroyed by HMAS Sydney. Um, yeah, it was pretty famous for its time. Its name entered like lots of local languages as just a word meaning powerful or strong or tough or whatever. Um, the entire ship's crew got awarded the Iron Cross after it was sunk just because they were so awesome. Just a really famous ship in the First World War. But anyway, let's see how it does in the game. One thing I did forget to mention as a difference between this and the Dresden is that because of this special camouflage you are seeing right now, the Dresden also gets a 30% bonus to experience earned in battle, which is well, a pretty useful bonus in training up your German cruiser crews, especially since you can, you know, pair it up with your with an extra 1.5 times experience win of the day kind of thing. So anyway, it's a low tier game, a tier 3 game. This is the islands map, and I basically decide, since it's my first time out on the ship and I want to see what it can do, I'm just going to head straight up the centre and start trying to fight it out with the enemies. Um, lots of the weaknesses of the Dresden are also present on this ship. Its guns are weak, as in individually, but you've got a lot of them. Um, you've also got fairly low hit points, although you've got decent enough armour for its tier, and it is a protected cruiser, so you'll get a lot of over-penetrations from armour-piercing shells. Um, it's not particularly fast, but it is actually pretty agile for this tier, and that's going to come in handy for me in this game. So we spotted Tenru, the Japanese tier 3 cruiser first off. Have a bit of a guess where to shoot while we switch to armour-piercing ammunition. And we weren't actually too bad, that one. Doesn't quite aim far enough ahead, so we'll try it again. And getting good hits already, aiming a bit long. But not quite getting the citadels we're hoping for, but you can't really expect them. You're only firing very small caliber shells, even at a 10 Ru. It's not gonna... It's gonna have a bit of trouble getting into the citadel, but they are penetrating. And then we see an enemy destroyer. And now... I actually think, compared to the Dresden, the Emden is actually probably a better destroyer killer. Both of them have completely adequate firepower in terms of killing destroyers, but the extra maneuverability and rudder shift time of the Emden actually makes it much better at avoiding the torpedo fire from destroyers. I have a bit of a guess at where the destroyer is based on where the smoke from the smoke screen was popping out of, and I get three hits there, so good guess. Focus back on the Samson because it is close to me, it's reversing away. And I'm able to put a few more shots in. Not really getting the big hits you was really I was really hoping for there, but 
I've taken away about half of its health. Take some shots on the enemy destroyer there, but had no real hope of hitting it. Um, so things haven't gone that great so far. I've basically pushed into B, mostly by myself, and I've lost about a third of my hit points while doing some damage to the enemy team. Torpedoes to my front, not going to hit me. Torpedoes are stern, and I was turning the wrong way there, but I'm able to actually recover and turn well enough to avoid both torpedoes there. Now, if it was in the Dresden, that second torpedo would have almost certainly hit me and it wouldn't have sunk me, I don't think, but it would have done a lot of damage. Spot Sasa Umikaze. It's disappeared in the smoke again, but we have a pretty good idea where it is. Two hits. And even though I'm not doing a lot of damage with any, every broadside, I'm firing off enough broadsides it's going to add up pretty quickly. Even against a ship like the Umikaze, which has a lot of hit points. Especially if it's not moving. And I take out its engines, so it's really not going to be able to move. And there's my first kill. And I believe that's the Samson from earlier. I managed to get another hit on it. A few base defense points there. And a few more hits. It's kind of lucky that at tier 2, destroyers aren't very fast. So the high arc of these guns don't really matter that much. Oh, but there's two kills. So as I say, I think the Emden is going to be a very a good ship at killing enemy destroyers. It's possibly a bit lacking in killing enemy cruisers, just because it doesn't quite have the firepower of the Dresden. You can also see here it's got a bit of an advantage when it's fighting enemy battleships as well in that the maneuverability of this ship means that it can actually dodge their shells pretty effectively at... well 7 kilometers is pretty short range actually for a battleship. So I did alright there, I actually managed to set it on fire I believe if I... I just saw that yellow icon, I'm not sure if it was an incapacitation or fire. Um, the Emden doesn't have very high fire chance with its HE shells, it's the same as the Dresden, but it fires so many of them that eventually it will start fires. Of course it does have the good armor piercing ammunition, the same as the Dresden, which is why you will see me switching to it just here as I start to open fire on this em enemy Emden. And when it's coming bow on at me like this, it's actually a pretty good opportunity to fire armor piercing. Um, until it gets on an angle like this where I'm probably going to bounce a fair few shots. So you see my damage drops from about 800 down to 200. 170 there and I definitely saw one bounce off its side. And I'm taking fire from the front somewhere. There's actually another enemy Emden over the islands kind of lobbing shells at me. But my team's actually losing badly so we're going to have to fight out the number here for a time. Fortunately we're pouring fire into this Emden and it's not doing very well. Taking a bit of damage myself, but I was gonna say nothing critical, but no, I've just gone right down to the red. There's my third kill. And here's that Emden that's been firing at me this whole time. Lob a few shells its way. It doesn't have a lot of hit points left either. So if I can land a few good broadsides, it might be enough to kill it. But I only do 500 damage, which is still a significant portion of its points left, but it's not going to be enough to really hamper it at this point. Then load high explosive to begin firing away at this Kawachi. And again, well my arm piercing does nothing, my high explosive shells does very little. But there's another engine behind me that is also lobbing its shells, you can see them coming in from the left of the screen. And between the two of us, we're just going to do a lot of damage to this Kawachi just through our, well, our rate of fire and the fact that we've both managed to start a fire on this ship. Unfortunately, I don't get to live much longer. I get destroyed by... What could destroy me there? Was it that battleship? Something killed me. So while that's happening, we're just going to watch my allied Emden continue playing the game. So see, things aren't going well for our team here. We've only got three ships left. We'll make that two ships left against six enemy ships. Um, so it's... 
pretty obvious we're going to lose this one, despite my best efforts. Well, I did manage to sink half the enemy ships that have been sunk, so I did try. Uh, so just some final thoughts on the Emden. I've kind of said everything I want to say. It's very comparable to the Dresden. I'm actually seriously wondering whether this might be a better ship than a Dresden. Um, the speed difference is negligible, one knot, it's not going to make a huge difference. Um, it's only got five sixths of the firepower, but I'm wondering if that might actually be worth it to gain a pretty significant increase in your um, turning radius and rudder shift time. And just between them, it makes this a far more potent ship, especially when fighting destroyers and to a lesser extent when firing, fighting battleships. The only real issue I have with saying that the Emden is a better ship than the Dresden is that at tier 2 you are mostly fighting enemy protected cruisers, um, in which case the Dresden is going to be a better choice simply because it's got that extra you know, one sixth firepower and will just do a little bit more damage, has a little bit more damage per second. Now I suppose the Dresden might be better in that it can dodge shots a bit better, but at the kind of ranges where combat happens at tier 2, you're probably not realistically going to dodge that many shots anyway, except for enemy Dresdens and battleships which fire tend to fire on either a high arc or very slow shells. So hard to say which is the better ship. Actually the deciding factor might just be that in the ending you get a 30% bonus to your crew, well to all, 30% bonus to all experience, which is particularly useful in generating experience for your captains, or free experience if you're the kind of person who's willing to um, convert experience from your premium ships into free experience, it would be very useful. But this game, it's almost over so we might as well see how it finishes on it. It's being fired on by a St. Louis back there, which isn't a good situation to be in if you're in a tier 2 cruiser, because they're going to wreck you. Uh, enemy destroyer to the front, playing very aggressively, but as you should when you're outnumbering the enemy 3 to 1, and the enemy ships are both on very low health here. Uh, we're getting a few decent hits on the destroyer though. Haven't quite killed it yet, it pops its smoke screen, and well, we managed to sink it there, but it looks like it was actually the battleship that sunk it rather than the Emden here. But the destroyer has its vengeance, sinks the allied battleship, and now this Emden is the last ship remaining on our team, and it's got less than a thousand hit points, so it's not going to last very much longer at all. Oh, I thought that would be it, but nope, it's down to 90 hit points. And there we go, the St. Louis finishes it off. But I still did alright in that game. I probably could have done better, but not probably not enough to carry that game. Um, 630 base experience, but because of my 30% bonus, that actually goes up to 800 or so. Did just under 30,000 damage, which... Yeah, it's alright at tier 2, especially since I took, you know, 17,000 myself. 75,000 credits, and as I said, 890 experience, and a little bit of free experience to help me with my other ships. So that is the Emden. Um, my recommendation, definitely a ship worth getting, especially since at the moment you can get it for free. As I said, you have to sink 10 enemy ships if you're on the Asian server. If you're on the North American server, I think it's a bit more complicated in that you have to sink 10 enemy ships and then do something like 10,000 hit points of damage and then set some enemy ships on fire before you can unlock the Emden. But it should still be fairly easy to do and this is actually a pretty good ship, especially if you like the Dresden or St. Louis or Kohlberg or any of those you know, low tier rapid firing cruisers. Anyway, I hope you'll get your Emden. And I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.